One-way window films are great for blocking excess light from coming in through windows, helping to keep your home cool, and also preventing people from looking into your windows during daylight hours. That's why I'm excited to get this one open and apply it to my windows. But before we get started, I have to thank my partners for sponsoring this video. Yes, I'm being compensated for what I'm doing here, but all opinions and the creation of this video all are my own, so let's get started. This film is rated to block 90% of infrared rays and 96% of UV rays. It does come with a set of directions for us. And the film obviously has this metallic covering on the outside. That's what's going to prevent people from seeing in. And then it has the darker film on the inside that should help with reflecting the UV and IR rays. So we'll have to start out by measuring how much film we actually need. Now I have a window that's six inches by 63 inches that I'm going to start off with. And you need to measure out 20 millimeters in each direction wider than what you're actually using. So I'm going to need about seven inches by about 64 inches. And I don't think this first cut needs to be super precise just because we're gonna trim it down later once it's actually in the window. You start by cleaning the glass. And you do wanna leave it a little damp, so I'm just flicking some water onto it here and then spreading it around a little bit since I don't have like a spray bottle for my water. And that extra layer of water right here is gonna help that film stick to it. So now we gotta get this layer of film off of the actual sticky part, and the sticky part is this metallic part right here, and we'll stick that to the window. So we peel that film all the way back. I'm just gonna pull the film partly down here, as you can see, and then attach the top part of it, and then pull the film down as I continue to attach it to the window. So you can see I'm pushing down in the middle and then pushing out like this to keep out any of the bubbles as it goes down. And then I'll further peel back that under layer of plastic, push down in the middle and out, down in the middle and out. Now if we have any excess film like we do here, we can very carefully use a precision razor like this to just simply cut it back. And then at the end, once you got it all cut out like that, you can just take any flat surface like a credit card. I'm just gonna use the tip of my phone and you can kind of just smush out any bubbles that might have appeared, though I didn't get very many. And some that I did get up here, it was really easy to just peel it back and then push it back forward and readjust and it turned out fine. And so here you can see the difference in how much light it's actually blocking out. This is the window that's being protected right now versus the two windows that are letting in light. Now here we can see the difference outside, the two untreated windows versus the one with the mirror on it. You're gonna see that you can easily see through both of these windows and see those lights. But if I come over to this one, you can't see either of those lights, you're just getting the reflection back. Now obviously on this side, you do see a lot more of the bubbles that I left in the window. So obviously I didn't do it perfectly, but it does do a good job of preventing people from seeing in. You can't even see those lights that are on in there as opposed to these ones, which are really easy to see them through. So all in all, a really solid project done here. You can see the difference between the two windows. Obviously that's the treated one over there. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So I appreciate that. Um, any negatives, it was a little difficult to put up and obviously you saw that I couldn't get all the bubbles out. So maybe if I tried it a few times on more windows, it would look a lot better. Uh, who knows, that was just my first attempt at it. And I still think it looks pretty good. And so if you found this video helpful, please let me know by hitting that little thumbs up button down there. I really appreciate it.